Please watch the video in high quality. Previously, I made a video on how to pan, zoom, and orbit a model, and uh, the link would be in the description of, to that video. And in this video, we'll learn how to implement uh, the zoom fit all functionality. So I'll have a fo I, I'm having a focal point and a, a camera uh, child, and to that linked uh, a script called camera control. So I'll open the script. To achieve that, I'll create two functions. The first function would return bounds of a game object, even if there are a group of meshes inside that game object. Call it get bound. Now that is done, I'll create a, in, in, in another function. We'll call it fit on screen, and it will get the bound through the get bound function that we just created. And then we'll get the bound size and the diagonal, uh, the bound size, it's, it's basically give you the size, the X, Y, and Z dimensions of the uh, box that the bounding box and then we'll get the diagonal and then from there we set the camera uh, orthographic size and uh, the, the, the the position of the focal point to uh, uh, implement the effect of zoom fit all. Before that, um, I'll create a new public variable of game object type. We'll call it model. And then we pass the model.
And now uh, in order to call this function, we'll have that set so that when the user uh, click the co left control plus the F uh, key on the keyboard, the zoom, uh, uh, the fit on screen function will be called. And now I'm gonna save the file and make sure to go to the editor to assign the model public game object. And now I could press play to test the game. If I zoom out, and click Ctrl F, it will zoom fit all. If I navigate around, push it away and click Ctrl F, it will zoom fit all as well. Thank you. Please like, subscribe and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this.